Hi, welcome to Balanced Health. I'm Shirley Rose and this is Joe Costello. You know, as the cost of health care skyrockets in the United States, traveling abroad to receive medical care is a more attractive option than ever. And today we have as our special guest, Dr. Francisco Contreras, president of Oasis of Hope Hospital in Tijuana, Mexico, where their philosophy is, listen to this, do the body no harm, do not compromise the patient's quality of life, and love your patient as yourself. I really love that. Dr. Contreras is a distinguished oncologist and surgeon who oversees the treatments of 800 cancer patients annually. And he's co-authored a book entitled Hope, Medicine, and Healing. This book empowers readers who are battling cancer by presenting eight therapies that work together to overcome the failings of other treatments. And by supporting the mind, body, and spirit, the book supports the needs of the whole patient. And welcome, Dr. Contreras. It's so good to have you back with us. It is my pleasure and honor. You're, you're a good friend, and you've done a wonderful work down there at Oasis of Hope. And I said at the very beginning of the show, more and more Americans, because of the cost of health care yes. and because there are treatments available elsewhere that we don't have here, are, are opting for going to a place like Oasis of Hope. Tell us quickly how your hospital is different and, and what are some of the things that they offer that they couldn't find here in the United States? Well, uh, what really separates us uh, from the rest of the hospital is not that we do alternatives, which we do, yes. and, but we also do all of the uh, um, conventional therapies. Okay. What separates us really is what you were talking about the, the, uh, at the last uh, part of your introduction, is that we provide resources for our patients emotional and spiritual needs mm -hmm. because we have found that when a patient uh, decides, chooses to be a victor over cancer, miracles happen. Mm. And, and I can tell you that our uh, uh, statistics are so much better than the rest, not because we're so good, which we are, but <laughs> because, are. because we uh, uh, set a platform for miracles. Mm. What do I mean by that? Uh, when a patient is a, a victor, uh, no matter what's happening, really, the patient has decided that cancer is not ruling over their mm -hmm. body. And it's not a death sentence. Exactly. It doesn't have to be a death sentence. No. Then it's like the tumor saying, it's no more fun being in this person and go someplace <laughs> else. Uh, and, and that is very important. We have found that spiritual fortitude is the most important resource that we can give to a patient. And what is spiritual fortitude? Well, in a nutshell, is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Once you know that you have a ticket to heaven, your perspective on the life here on earth changes dramatically. Right. And as I tell my patients every time that I talk to them about this, I, I know that you're in no hurry to go to heaven. I'm not either. That's why you're here. And we're going to do whatever is responsible mm -hmm. to get rid mm -hmm. of this cancer. Yeah. But the fact is that you and I are already in heaven. That's true. And that we changes have hope. things. Yes. But, you know, in my read at the beginning, I said that, you know, you, um, you, you pledge not to do the patient any harm and that you would not interfere with their quality of life. Isn't that hard when you have to give traditional treatments like chemotherapy? Very hard. So what we have done in this, uh, and, and I explain in this new book, is we prepare the patient and, uh, and form a, or, or provide a patient an umbrella protection against the side effects of chemotherapy so that if they have to receive chemotherapy or radiation therapy, then the, the side effects are going to be almost insignificant. Okay. Most of our patients are, saying, you know, are telling me, well, you know, I received chemotherapy before and it was hell. And, and mm. now, you know, I, I have a few uh, side effects. But now, how it's, do you it's do not. that? Through nutrition or how do you do Basically that? Basically through, through nutrition, uh, through the knowledge uh, that has been gathered in molecular biology, we can now uh, uh, upregulate or downregulate some of the uh, negative effects of chemotherapy and upregulate its function. Mm -hmm. So chemotherapy is going to work better. It's going to destroy more tumor mass without the side effects, in, in a nutshell. Wow, this segment is going so fast. I you know, jump right in, Joe. But I wanted to just, I wanted Dr. Contreras to tell us a little bit about your book. And, uh, and would you have something more important well, to ask? I think, it, I think it just is what the book is covering, and, and one of the things that it's covering, and that's the physiological component of a spiritual attitude. In other words, when people have approached the attitude a certain way, physiologically, if their body's under less stress response because they feel better about who they are in Christ, who they are, what, what they're, you know, so your prognosis is what it is based on statistics. If inside they're feeling that they're going to beat this thing, if they feel victorious because of who they are in, in Christ, we see less stress response physiologically 
body's able to physically heal better. I just want to talk about that, the physical that, side. That's of it. absolutely right. And you know, for the longest time, they, they've been criticizing us that we sell false hope, mm. and and that we're just brainwashing our patients. Mm. And now we have a whole uh, science around it, which is called psychoneuroimmunology, mm. that actually your thoughts interact with your brain and your brain sends information to your glands that produce certain uh, uh, chemicals that are going to stimulate or or, or, or shut down your immune system. Wow. That's, and, and that's fascinating. Yeah. And I, I want to talk more about that. And, and you have some personal stories yes. that you want to share with us as well. So we, we're going to get to that. Physiologic is the biggest word I could come up with. His, <laughs> you his did, was bigger, but everybody good. said the same thing, right? <laughs> yes. You, you did good. But, you, but even when you were with us on our last <clears> show, you were telling us we ran out of time. You were telling us about some great stories. And, and I assume that you have data to back up what you just stated. Correct. So, uh, you know, I was telling you about this aunt that was diagnosed with cancer of the of the colon metastasis to the liver, very poor prognosis, according to the book, four months. And two years later, after our therapy, uh, she's free of tumor, Amazing. and yet she couldn't sleep because she was afraid of when the cancer would come back. Mm. And so even though she was cancer-free, she was still a victim of cancer. It's all psycho. Hold that thought. It's still all involved. psychological because yes. we do have to take a, take a quick break, even though we're having a great discussion here. But when we return, Dr. Contreras will continue sharing more about his book and some alternative ther therapies. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Balanced Health.